you know, Sheikh Zayed was quite a private man, you know, and he w he was advanced in years. And uh, the the previous time I'd met him, it wasn't a terribly successful meeting. I was very new to the job. He was in his house at Ascot, you know, and I don't think terribly comfortable in it. I think it was it had once been John Lennon's house, um, you know. But the second time, we just hit it off. And, uh, you know, his, uh, his son, Mohammed bin Zayed, MBZ, you know, afterwards said, you know, that he'd taken a, a liking. And be I think because we had this similarity of backgrounds. And he sent me a, a book about the UAE with a, a personal inscription, which uh, the, the now Crown Prince told me was very rare and something that he, uh, he never usually did. I, I got on, I struck a chord with them, and there was a very simple reason for that, because in the sort of the general chat before you get down to business, uh, we, were, we were talking, and I said, you know, uh, it's a very sort of unpredictable world, you know, I said, I used to be a shepherd. My university vacations, and just afterwards, I had to go and help on my uncle's farm, and he reared sheep. And in the spring, I said, you know, you had the lambing, and then in the autumn, you have the shearing and the dipping, and then in the autumn, you have the sales. And every year, it follows exactly the pattern. And Sheikh Zayed sort of looked at me and said, you mean you were a shepherd? And I said, well, yeah, I had to be because my uncle depended on family labor to do it. And he said, I've never met a politician who did a real job before. <laughs> and he said, I used to be a pearl fisherman before I became a politician. And so we then had this long discussion about animal husbandry and the difficulties and the problems uh, of rearing cattle and the rest of it. And all the time I'm thinking, I'm supposed to be here talking about defense. I'm supposed to be talking about what, you know, what equipment I can sell to the UAE. And here I am talking about animals. But it went on and on. And a 20-minute audience with the great man turned into an hour and 35 minutes. Um, and he just seemed to... He just seemed to sort of trigger. And I remember going back to my, my aunt. Uh, my uncle had, had long died. And I said, you know, I don't think my uncle would ever have realized that my experience on the farm was going to come in useful in the United Arab Emirates. But it did. You know, one of the things that Sheikh Zayed said to me when we were talking about you know leadership and and having a base was you know how he'd brought all the warring you know uh, emirates together now that in itself was a huge achievement and by bringing them together into into this united states you know we live in the united kingdom but these united states and the emirates was was an achievement in itself and that drove some of that remarkable record that it's got economically and socially so that it is one of the one of the most remarkable countries in the Middle East.